Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me an hour of your time, if you will. Dad, what show today we on? Can you read that backwards from oh, behind? Yeah. What you got? Oz? 30. 30. Show number 30. Backwards? So that's Dad's sign to remind you that we on show number 30, and this is my sign that I have for everybody today. That's my, that's, that's my version of show number 30. Can you see? Silas, oh, you don't have to. That's a secret, secret, secret message. Uh, good afternoon, Silas. Silas Fontenot joining us today from Ville Platte. Miss Hazel checking in. Uh, Miss Sissy saying hello. Uh, your daughter's watching. Uh, Luke Landry said her, him and Abigail, his daughter, are ready for some Disney trivia. Uh, Dorian Lejeune is uh, her and her fiance are watching. Uh, hello, Campbell family. Miss Carmen. Uh, Miss Carolyn Vietor, happy Friday, Miss Carolyn. I have to be reminded that it's Friday. Isn't that that's crazy? I have to be reminded. Today, just who's calling? Who's calling you right now? I Don't they know it, you have a show, I Dad? It on airplane now, Dad, mode. Dad, if you go prime time, like if you have your own talk show, you can't you can't be having your, your, your you can't be answering your phone, man. Yo, but be, that's your, it, it, that ain't my fault. You, well, I didn't. Your, it's your show. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's gonna blame me on the airplane mode. Uh, I know that these uh, fancy, uh, fancy technologies. Back in back in Dad's day, they had uh, carrier pigeons. <clears throat> All right, uh, Melissa. We uh, first we got a lot to do today. I hope it's going to be a great show. I hope y'all are all doing well, uh, Mr. Eugene Garcia. Yes, fabulous Friday to everybody. Uh, first thing I'm going to sh- uh, uh, start out is a couple shout outs to our our friends in West Virginia watching the show. Uh, all the way to we- from West Virginia, uh, Melissa and Chris Grimes, uh, Mr. Dave and Kitty uh, Spinagle. Uh, Diana Heiner, Janet Thompson, Katie Thompson, and Brenda Allen. Dad, you want to say uh, yeah. hi in your own special way? Maybe you could say hi in French. They won't know what you're saying, but uh, it sounds pretty cool. Uh, yes, como ça voy, my little uh, West Virginia uh, friends. J'apprécie vous autres écoutes. Yeah. Et je vais vous voir quand je vais aller visiter là-bas. That's right. Chouette, bien bien. Exactly. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. All right, so today's show... Um, we are going to have some Disney trivia, so, uh, no cheating, right? We're on the trust. So I know Mr. Terry Dory's probably already scored a point, but we're on the trust tree and, uh, we, we're going to have our Facebook fam of the day. So y'all are our family now in this quarantine. So we're going to, what I did is I came up with a little uh, questionnaire and I send it to people that wanted to fill it out. So, uh, I did it on first return, first serve. So today, Miss Joycelyn Bouvet, our friend from Canada, she's going to be our, our focus, uh, Facebook fam of the day. I'm going to read her answers to our questions and that lets everybody kind of get to know each other a little bit better and what they do and what they're at and uh, make some new friends. Uh, in addition, I wanted to, uh, we we're, this is just for me wanting to share my favorite, you know, maybe some of you guys, uh, need to go to a clinic or, or sick. Uh, this isn't a paid sponsorship. This is just uh, me throwing it out there because they've been so good to my family. But Express Med on a 111 St. Louis Street, uh, for their uh, clients, they do telehealth where you don't have to physically go in. But you talk about some nice people, man. They've uh, your mom Expre- yeah. uh, Express Call. Med uh, Walk-In Clinic uh, on St. Louis Street in Lafayette, Louisiana. Uh, five, uh, four, five, six, fifty, five hundred. Some good people over there, Shane LaHood and those guys. All right, Dad, so first off, I told you your your homework was, Dad, we need to start the show off with a toe tapper. I mean, we want to give them, we want their toes to, they want to have turf toe by the time they've been tapping them toes. You know, we want them to, 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 to have a, to go to Express Med with a bunion problem. They tap in their toes oh. so much. So you got us a good song to kick it off with? I'll try. All right, let's go to Lafayette. <laughs> Thank you. 
way to start us off. Dad, do you know that there is a medical condition for when a, a, a good song like that comes on and you tap in your feet so fast, so veet veet, you don't notice, and, and there's a condition that you can get. You got to watch. You can't tap your toe too, or you could get happened? you could get toe jam because that you know when you jam into a song. And you, yeah, you tap in your foot, oh, I think that's what the toe, etiology yeah, that's of, what the uh, I think so, that's when you tap in your toe uh, too fast to the, to the beat and you can get toe jam because you're jamming out to the song. So, uh, yeah, that's my phrase for the day. All right, Dad, so let's go first to our first Disney movie trivia. Now, you know I can never do anything straightforward. I always have to have because I'm crazy. Um, so... We have the real answer, and then just because I'm really weird, I have a Cajun alternate universe answer. Dad, you ever heard of an alternate universe? You ever heard of the multiverse? You ever get into astronomy and, and, and astrophysics no, and cosmology? Sometimes I look at the stars. Oh, that's close enough. So, so these are some basic Disney movie trivia questions. So there's the real answer, and then there's my answer if Disney movies happen like in Cajun country, like in a Cajun alternate universe, okay. right? So you get double points if you could read my mind, which is pretty, pretty crazy. All right, question number one. Remember, we on the trust tree. In the Jungle Book, who teaches Mowgli about the bare necessities of life? Do, 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 do. No, you don't answer in the comments, Luke. You just uh, keep that to yourself, Shaq. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Okay, Dad, do you have an answer? No, but I bet Mr. Terry looked at Luke's answer and he's going to say Mr. Terry already gave himself a point. All right, Lucy, you want in? All right, the correct answer is Baloo. In the Jungle Book, who teaches Mowgli about the bare necessities of life, Baloo. And in a Cajun alternate universe... The person who teaches Mowgli about the bare necessities of life is Maria Placer. She taught Mowgli about the bare necessities of life in a Cajun alternate universe. Maria Placer. Must have, must have been way back. Uh, this, it's an alternate universe. All right. Who got it right? Uh, Judy, Miss Judy says, uh, uh, Neil and Judy checking in. In fact, his way of saying, this is why I speak Cajun. Luke's way of saying, awesome, we got it right, is with an exclamation point. So, you know, I, I speak Delcom, and yeah, so I know yeah. exactly what. Cassie is on the board. All right. Melissa got a point. All right, y'all. We're, we're going to have some fun today. I had no idea. You had Why no idea? You give me a choice of blue or red. Well, you know, see, dad's, dad's, waiting. Red, though, dad's waiting. I know what you're waiting for, but you overqualified. Dad's waiting for me to have uh, old yellow movie trivia because he's he's been waiting his whole life for that. We may have that next week. Yes, old yellow And uh, he's going to knock it out. <laughs> All right. So, all right. I'm glad everybody got a point. We're going to do our next song. I mean, our next movie trivia after Dad's next song, which is in the Lanyak, the Lagnap category. And Dad is going to do, I'm kind of excited to hear this song, uh, The Cattle Call. The Cattle Call by Eddie Arnold. Now, I do, I'm going to tell you all a little bit before I start. And, and Brian's the director. That, that part of the song goes, ooh, ooh. But I do it better. <laughs> it works great during Halloween when Dad's outside scaring the kids. He's like, ooh. <laughs> so I'm going to do the ooh one time, and the rest of the time Look I'm going to do it. Look for the bare necessities. Okay. <laughs> Get it, Pop. He rides it, he rides in the sun till his day's work is done and rounds up the cattle each fall, singing his cattle call. Yeah. For hours 
Cottonwood wood right on the rain far and wide when the night wind blows up far and slow his heart is a feather of all kinds of weather he sings his cattle call His brown is a berry from riding the prairie, and he sings with an old prairie drawl. Now, when I played the harmonica, that was instead of the woo That they loved it, man. They, they preferred oh, the woo you know what that song reminds First of all, is this part of the song or is this a solo it? Ah, uh, that's it. Okay. I that, you know, home you home know home. what it reminds me of is a, Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam and the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a, disper a discouraging word and the smell of crawfish a too fade. Wow, I didn't know that. You made that up. That's not he can be taught. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> That's a, another Disney movie from. See if y'all could quote that one. He can be taught. Dad, oh, you know it? What is it? Oh, good job. Bonus points. Dad, they really enjoyed that song. We got to save that one for the best of show. Really? Okay. All right. But with the ooh, or with okay. the ooh. Okay. That's uh, Dad's O face. <laughs> All right. Next up in our Disney movie trivia. Cruella de Vil is the villain in which Disney movie? Remember, I'm going to give you the real answer, and then I'm going to give you the answer in a Cajun alternate universe. Cruella de Vil is the villain in which Disney movie? Dad, do you have an idea? Do you want to take a guess? People. I, I have no idea. The answer is not people. I have no idea. That is a good guess. Uh the real answer oh, oh, is wait, called wait, 101 wait. Dalmatians. Oh, sorry, Dad. I, I answered it right. right when you were about to get it, I'm sure it was the right answer. Uh, the real answer is 101 Dalmatians. And the answer in the Cajun alternate universe is 101 Nutra Rats. And DeVille, Corella DeVille, DeVille is spelled D-E-V-I-L-L-E, -L -L -E, like Josh DeVille. Josh and DeVille. Uh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so that's a, a real DeVille. And look, everybody's excited, man. They got some right answers. And, uh, all right, so y'all keep track of that, okay? And uh, let's move on to, Dad, I asked you how you feeling earlier. You said you're feeling good, man. You're I feeling feel great. I you, always feel good. You, you seem like you're feeling spunky today. You got, uh, you got your spunky drawers uh, on today? You, uh, uh, I'm a slow punk, spunk, <laughs> spunk, but uh, I feel good. Awesome. Uh, very seldom. Oh, good. what? Oh, 101 Gators. Yeah, that would have, have been a good alternate, too. Uh, Mr. Terry Dore said he's three for three after two questions, so uh, we uh, he's, he's rolling right along. He's he's overqualified, man. man. He's overqualified. New, new, uh, youngsters movies. All right, Dad. Let's go to some uh, classic country and uh, for our Lan Yacht number two number song for the good times. For the good times. You want to uh, talk a little bit about this song or, or talk a little bit about Ray Price? Okay. How do you say Ray Price in French? Ray Price. Ray. <laughs> Ray, I guess it's Ray, and price is Pri. Pri. Ray Pri. Le Pri. That sounds like Le Pri. Pri also means caught. Pri is also price. I think they're spelt differently, but they kind of said the same in French.
look so sad. I know it's over, but life goes on, and this old world it will keep on turning. Let's just be glad we had some time to spend together. There's no need to watch the bridges that we're burning. Lay your head upon my pillow. Hold your warm and tender body close to mine. Hear the whisper of the raindrops blowing soft against the window. And make believe you love me one more time for the good times. I'll get along, you'll find another, and I'll be here if you should find you ever need me. Don't say a word about tomorrow or forever. There'll be time enough for sadness when you leave me. So lay your head upon my pillow. Hold your warm and tender body close to mine. Hear the whisper of the raindrops blowing soft against the window and make believe you love me one more time for the good time. Good job, Dan. Gotcha. Uh, Miss Merlene said, Pop is on a Ray Price kick. She said, thank you. She loves it. So you'd say that... Well, I don't know if Miss Sissy or somebody asked me to play a song from Ray Price, and that started all the... So, so would you them. say... So, Dad, would you say that the price is right with Ray? Oh, yeah. I like... I love Ray Price. Yeah. Yeah, he's above average. Um, something new on the shelf behind that. Yeah, well, since today was Disney trivia... I uh, put a little, uh, we got Orange Bird back there, and I have uh, some Disney pins uh, from from a couple of our family trips. And uh, and uh, Miss Marlene said, that's some belly rubbing music right there, man. Well, I tell you, for this quarantine season, bro, I'm, uh, I'm, I must be uh, prepping for some uh, for some belly rubbing, man. I'm, uh, whew, I need to start laying off the cereal and milk. Jody Primo is watching. Jody. And uh, Kenny Toops checked in. Pop. Mr. Kenny T. Right. You know, you know, I know why he's listening in. He want to steal all your good jokes. Mm, I got all my good jokes from Kenny. Oh. All right, here is the next Disney trivia and Cajun Alternate Universe answer. Question. What is the name of the boy who owns Buzz Lightyear in the movie Toy Story? You know the answer, Brian? What is the name of the boy who won't... Dad, do you know this answer? Not yet. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. Man, I have no idea. All right. Good job, Brian. The correct answer is Andy. And the name of the boy who owns Buzz Lightyear in the movie Toy Story in a Cajun alternate universe is Ricky Duck. Ricky Duck owns... I know Ricky uh, Duck. Yeah, that's who owns uh, Buzz Lightyear in a Cajun alternate universe. So. Oh, might not be the same Ricky. Dude. No, it's probably not. All right. So, who got it right? Where y'all at? Who's, uh, what we got? Tree for tree? Who 
Who's tree for tree? And, Luke's uh, tree for three? Who's tree for tree? Did you, did, you didn't say Luke was tree for three. No, I said who? who? Oh, oh. Yeah, you got your hearing aids on today? No. It's no, all good. No. Dad, you've gotten real good at reading lips, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, I'm going to ask... my glasses <laughs> on. I'm going to ask another uh, trivia question, all right? Since y'all are on a roll. Which Disney princess has a raccoon as a sidekick? Which Disney princess has a raccoon for a sidekick? And again, real answer and then Cajun alternate universe answer. Who you got, Dad? Snow White. That is a great answer, Dad. And you were very close because both of them are female uh, characters. Uh, but Snow White is not correct. The answer is, let me give you a hint. If you're going to... Um, you don't tug on soup. If you're going to do this to somebody, you're going to poke oh, them. Oh, Pokemon. Very close. Um, but instead of poking a mon, let's oh, poke. Oh, po Pocahontas. Yeah, let's Pocahontas. Good job, Pop. I'm going to give you a half a point on that uh, because of the effort was uh, outstanding. Thank you. Now, in the Cajun alternate universe, which Disney princess has a raccoon as a sidekick? The correct answer is Gator Queen Liz in the alternate Cajun oh, universe. Yeah, from Princess Gator Queen Liz has a raccoon as a sidekick. All right. Now, Dad, let's go on to Take Me Home Country Roads. Take me home and country who's that dedicated yeah. to? And, I want to uh, dedicate that to some guys, some people. Well, Take Me Home Country Roads, it's a song about Virginia, West Virginia and uh, Blue Ridge Mountains and all of that good stuff. And I want to dedicate that to my daughter, Melissa, and her husband, Chris Grimes. Uh, to also Miss Brenda Allen, Katie Thompson, Janet Thompson, Diana Heiner, and Dave and Kitty Spanongo. And uh, Almost Heaven, West Virginia. Let's do it. Oh, flip. For Melissa, she yeah. said all four of us are uh, four of them. So they have a company uh, who's uh, I could be, I don't know, but uh, 
Oh. Next time when I go visit, hopefully around the holidays, yeah, yeah. if we can travel, maybe we can get together yeah. and we'll have a, yeah. a little concert yeah. ourselves. I said they, if they sang. They socially distance and watching. John Ritter, John Denver, I think. Uh, John Di John D Denver. Yeah, Ritter was a uh, Jack Tripper, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, All right, let's go what to. What I'm interested in. What are you interested in, Dad? That Tex Ritter owns some property just east of Delco. Uh, I think it was uh, Owen Cole. Owen said that. that, yeah. that uh, somebody found the arrowhead while plowing in Tex Ritter's That's cool. property. I don't know. All right, guys, how about a couple more trivia songs before we move on to karaoke with Brian Campbell? In the movie Frozen, which song does Elsa sing as she builds her castle? Dad, you got to know this one, huh? In the movie Frozen, what song does Elsa sing as she builds her castle? And I'll give you a hint, Dad. It's not ice, ice, baby. Do, 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 do. Ice, ice, baby. Hey, shh, not so loud. <laughs> okay, y'all try to do charades for Papa. Y'all try to see if y'all can... Uh... All right, the answer is... Let it go, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Uh, I misread your lips. I thought you had said nanny goat. <laughs> My dad's from Grand Coteau. <laughs> All right, and in the Cajun alternate universe, in the movie Frozen, which song did Elsa sing as she builds the castle? In the Cajun alternate universe, she sang Tina Na. So Elsa oh, sang Tina. Yeah. yeah. Tina Na. Elsa sang Tina Na while she built a castle in the alternate uh, Cajun universe. All yeah, right. It, What's it that? Would probably would have been an improvement if that would have happened. Oh yeah. I never watch Frozen. Well, that that we gotta do. That's on your bucket list. We're gonna do that before. Uh, we're gonna do that before you turn eighty. We're gonna watch uh, Frozen. All right. One more question for now. In the movie Finding Nemo, which country has Nemo been taken to? In the movie Finding Nemo, y'all help Papa out, guys. In the movie Finding Nemo, which country has Nemo been taken oh, to? Oh, I know. I know. I know that one. I watched Nemo. All right, Pop. Australia. Yay! Paul Paul's on the board. He got one and a half points. But do you know what the answer is in the Cajun alternate universe? What country has Nemo been taken to? Cameron Parish? Close. Kaplan. Uh, Nemo was taken to Kaplan in the Cajun alternate universe in Finding Nemo. All right. You ready to have some karaoke pop? Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see if we could do this. I'm going to do the instrumental. Oh, yeah. You do whatever you want. Let's see if we can do this. Whew. Y'all sing along. We slow playing it. Could be holding you tonight. I could quit doing wrong, start doing right. Hey, you don't care about what I think I think I'll just stay here and drink Hey, putting you down won't square the deal At least you know the way I feel Hey, take all the money in the bank That's Gulf Coast Bank I think I'll just stay here and drink Hey, listen close and you can hear That loud jukebox playing in my ear Ain't no woman gonna change the way I think And I think I'll just stay here and drink Here comes that piano Get it, Pop! Woo! Man, save some room for later. Woo -hoo! Those fries are going to come out hot, hot. Woo! Here we go. Hey, hurt me now, don't mean a thing. Since love ain't here, don't feel the pain. My mind ain't nothing but a total blank And I think I'll just stay here and drink 
Oh, yeah. Play that guitar, Pop. Woo! Man, shred it like lettuce. Shred it like the cabbage, Pop. Get it, Papa. Don't leave nothing for later. They hurt me now, don't mean a thing. Since love ain't here, don't feel the pain. My mind ain't nothing but a total blame. Oh, I think I'll just stay here and drink. All right. Saxophone pop, play the sax, man. Get after it. Woo! Get it, Brian. Oh, dance, Brian, dance. Get it, Brian. Woo! Sometimes you gotta pay extra for this kind of action, and y'all are getting it for free. Don't stop playing that saxophone pop. Play it like it's the last time you're ever gonna play a saxophone in your life. Could be holding you tonight. I could quit doing wrong, start doing right. Oh, he got the floss going. You don't care about what I think. Do the floss, Papa. I think I'll just stay here and drink. No, Papa's doing the floss. There it is. All right. That was fun, guys. Good job, Brian. For the first time on Facebook, my father has done the floss. Man, that was good technique, Pop. You were flossing to the beat. That's what... Well, yeah, that's what it is. I don't know what he was doing. I don't know what he was doing. I don't know why you were flossing your plums, boy. <laughs> You're supposed to floss your teeth. You know what I said to you? You what? I was like, floss at home. <laughs> All right, good job, guys. All right, Dad, while you get ready for your next song, uh, Madame Sostain, I'm going to get to a couple more uh, oh, yeah. uh, trivias. And then remember, guys, now... Our, our uh, penultimate song right before You Are My Sunshine is going to be um, a spiritual reflective where we take your prayer requests. So start kind of thinking about what prayer requests you're going to add. And I'm going to ask for those so that way I could read them all at once. I don't miss anything. And that would be before or after Amazing Grace. That is going to be during. So I'm going to ask during. for the prayer request. And while you're playing Amazing Grace, um, they're going to type in. Okay, guys. Uh, Disney Trivia. What color are Mickey Mouse's shorts? What color are Mickey Mouse's shorts? Now remember, there's the real answer, and then there's the alternate Cajun universe answer. Wow, Brian, good job. Uh, All right, what you guess, Papa? It's a color? No, it's a number. <laughs> yes, Pop, it's a color. <laughs> it's a color. Red. Red is correct. Red is correct, and... Uh, what color is Mickey Mouse's shorts in a Cajun alternate universe? Of course, there could only be one color. That is camouflage. Uh, Mickey would wear camouflage Ooh, shorts. Yeah. And trick question, those aren't his pants. Those are his cassons. Um, yeah, yeah. So that would also be in the alternate Cajun universe. So good job, everybody who got a point. I hope y'all are keeping track of your points at home. Mr. Terry said he is now over 10 points. So uh, he, is, man, I, I'm not cheating he is doing incredible. <laughs> I'll never pass up Terry. All right, Dad, let's get this, man. I'm excited about this song. Classic French category, Madame Sostain. Uh, I, I, I want to dedicate this song to Miss Lou Ammon. She, uh... <laughs> Et puis j'ai la 
Si tu voudrais me la donner, tu fais seulement de la soirée. Va m'emmener à la maison et la garder pour toujours. Oh, Dad, that was awesome, man. You should see all the little heart things floating up in the screen, man. Uh, let's see. Okay, now, Dad, this is awesome. I'm going to showcase our uh, fam. Of, do you know what that means, fam? Like, like hang on, fam. Family, family. Good job, Dad. Dad's a, a 5% uh, gangster. Good job, Dad. Fam, that's your fam. Like, you know, that's, yeah. that's like what, like, like me... Jamie and Brandon, like that's my family, oh, yeah. right? Oh, you know? okay. So this is our yeah. Facebook family. Yeah. So today's featured Facebook fam is Miss Joycelyn Bouvet in, from Canada. Her nickname is Foxy. She was born on November 7th. And I said the year is, is you don't have to get no, the year, no. but uh, she was born in Quebec, Canada, which is uh, the Karen Crow of Canada, from what I understand. You know, that's... Uh, that's the as a central French... Que Quebec, area. yeah. Uh, and now she lives in uh, Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada. Moncton, Moncton. Yeah. Um, and she, her first job was a bank teller. Her current job is uh, boring as heck, but it pays the bills, a federal public servant, which is an essential service. That's very important. Do you have a favorite song so far from Dad's concert series? She said, Bayou Pompon is her favorite song. That's the one I okay. played in a, in a key of C uh, the other day. It's kind of high for yeah. me, though. But. Miss, uh, Miss Joycelyn said, what advice would she give her younger self? Stick with her first banking career so she'd be retired by now. Can you share a favorite memory from your childhood going to car racing with her mom and dad? That's kind of cool. You never took me to a car race, Dad. Yeah. You did take me to go get autographs, though, so we are. I will consider that awesome. What and we, hobbies and, and we raced at the hotels to get them. <laughs> and what uh, what hobbies uh, do you enjoy? Singing, live music, old car shows, driving my convertible. Man, Dad, a convertible, mm. bro. Did, you know, I've had I had a convertible That's once. Nice. Did you well, know that? I didn't know. But I lost the Hot Wheels, and I've never seen it uh, after, like, my eighth birthday. Um, tra she enjoys traveling, food, and microbreweries. You know what that is, Dad? Microbrews? That's not, like, little shots of beer. Like, the microbrews, like, they, they make their own stuff. Who inspires you? Uh, she said, mostly your average people I've been blessed to have met. That's kind of cool. Like, just regular people, people, man. That's, uh, that's awesome. Never been more proud to be average in my life. Uh, she said she's single and looking, so all you single fellas, bruh, I hope y'all are taking, taking notes, man. What qualities do you look for in a partner? She said great smile and a good hugger. Now, would, would mom say you a good hugger, dad, if, you, if, mom, if mom were to grade you on your oh, hugging? Yeah, oh, I, I'd give me an A yeah. plus. Yeah. yeah, it's sponsored by Huggies. What oh. qualities do you look for in a partner personally? She says, okay, we're back. Awesome. We just got, I just had to shift the phone a little bit. Uh, what on your post quarantine bucket list? She said she wants to go back to Lafayette, which is, con which is appropriate because you said, let's go to Lafayette on your yeah, first song. Uh, back and, to singing. And, uh, and to change your name. So maybe yeah. she might find somebody and get married. Back to singing and playing music along with hundreds of people around. And, uh, and I said, I said, last comment, so you want to share anything I didn't ask you. She said, every single day I treat myself to something that makes me feel good. Could be food, a drink, car drive, buying something, listening to a tune, full blast, dancing around my house like no one's watching, to name a few. That's kind of cool. So, uh, Miss Joycelyn, uh, this, this, is, this next song is for you. Thank you for filling out our, our, our fam of the day. And if anybody else wants to be our fam of the day, hit me up. I'll send you the questionnaire and feature you uh, on our next show. So this song is going to go out to Miss Joycelyn Pop. Uh, we are on uh, line yacht number three, Jambalaya. Jambalaya. <laughs> I'm gonna have a fun, 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 fun
Guys, we're going to wrap up our Disney trivia, so I'm going to ask you three questions. Pop, pop, pop. Rapid fire. Pop, pop, pop. That's three pop, pops. Pop, oh, pop, pop. Y'all want some pop? Hey, remember that story? You want me to tell them the story about uh, when our house was getting toilet papered? And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, you yeah. were trying to trick them? So we lived out in the country, <laughs> man. And there was, uh, you know, we had a lot of cane fields in the front yard. and, uh, and uh, Across the street. Across the street. So uh, during, during uh, homecoming, they were toilet paper in the house. And, uh, you know, you could hear him. And so dad, you know, they knock on the door or something that let us know they were there. And they all ran after into the, finished. after they finished, they all ran into the sugar cane. And so we go outside and, you know, the first thing I think mom was thinking, we need to collect it to save it, you know, and, and recycle, you know. And, uh, and then my dad says, y'all did good. Y'all want some pop? <laughs> my dad offered off of a pop. And all, nobody wanted and all, of, no all pop of a sudden, the, the uh, two acres of sugar cane started laughing and, uh, and shaking. It was, <laughs> it was awesome. All right. I almost kissed you because I taught them all, I guess. Yeah. All right. Okay, here we go. Question number one. What does the crocodile swallow in Peter Pan? You got this, Dad. You got this. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. A clock. <laughs> Very good, Dad. A clock. Uh, and uh, the answer in the Cajun Alternate Universe is uh, the crocodile swallows a magna light pot in, uh, in the Cajun Alternate oh, Universe. Uh, that's what happens. So, so good pot. job, Dad. Yeah. All right. That was question number eight. Question number nine. In the Jungle Book, what kind of animal is Shere Khan? In the Jungle Book, what kind of animal is Shere Khan? Okay, Daddy's, Daddy's digging deep into the force. And what do, what do the spirits tell you, Dad? Tiger. A tiger. Ooh. Oh. That's right. A tiger is, is correct. Uh, in the Cajun Alternate Universe, the answer is, in the Jungle Book, what kind of animal is Shere Khan? Uh, the Cajun alternate answer is Shere Khan sounds delicious. Go cook some rice. That's uh, that is the answer uh, in in a Cajun alternate universe. Yep. So. <laughs> they can You know, Khan in French is a sugar cane. They can I, I had no idea. Oh, I just learned that. Good. Hey, that's good. All right. The last question, guys, and then you could tell me what your answers are. Oh, well, not your answers. Your how many you got right? Which was the first Disney movie? to receive an Oscar nomination for Best Picture. I'm going to end it on a hard one. Which was the first Disney movie to receive an Oscar nomination for the Best Picture? This one, I'm going to flip it up. I'm going to tell you the answer in a Cajun alternate universe in hopes that you can then figure, figure out what out. the real answer is, okay? So, 
Which was the first Disney movie to receive an Oscar nomination for Best Picture in a Cajun alternate universe? The answer is Tibeb and the Tatai. Tibeb and the Tatai. Can you figure out what that is? <laughs> the real answer is Beauty and the Beast. Oh, Beauty and the, and the Beast. Yeah. Tibeb and the Tatai is Man, uh, we, we Beauty and the Beast. All right, guys, how many did you get right out of 10? Let me know in the comments. Let, let Mr. Terry tell me how many first, then I'm going to say out there uh, <laughs> uh, how many. That's a good. Because he's going to cheat. That's a good strategy. Well, Nanny Cheryl, you, you tell me a category. I could do, I could do trivia uh, for, uh, for, any, for any category. All right, Dad, we got that done. We did Jambalaya. So to let everybody again know, we're going to do song number eight, Long Black Veil. Then I'm going to ask for prayer requests. And then while Dad's doing Amazing Grace, uh, after I'm going to read off on the prayer request, then we're going to end with, uh, with You Are My Sunshine. So get your prayer requests ready. And uh, after this song, don't forget, wait till I ask for the prayer request before you start typing them. So that way I could read them all. Uh, all right, Pop, you ready? Does anybody know uh, the Long Black Veil? Who sings that? Long and Black Veil, let go of my hands. Is, Lefty Frizzell. Ah. Uh. A lot of hearts and thumbs up on that one. A lot of people said that's a sad song. You know, you know what I, I I've always uh, I listened to a lot of country when I was uh, growing up. 
uh, Melissa introduced me to country music. And the thing I, I enjoyed about really sad songs was it made you appreciate, you know, maybe what you have or what you, yeah. you know, it kind of makes you think. Um, one of my favorite lines, I actually, we were talking about this the other day, uh, the Brad Paisley, uh, when you find yourself, sometimes when you lose your way, it's really just as well, because you, sometimes when you lose, you know, when you lose your way, you know, when you get lost, that's when you find yourself. Yes, yes. So, uh, but a lot of people saying, and, good and job, Dad. appreciate it. Oh, yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, thank you all. Okay, now let's give some prayer requests, guys. Uh, toss in your prayer requests. Uh, and, uh, oh, Dad, I'm on time, okay. man. Don't worry about the time. Okay. Look, I paid for overtime today. Uh, yeah. No, but I can't. Oh, not <laughs> All right, guys, prayer request, uh, anyone, anything. Dad's, uh, what we're going to do is for our prayer request song, Dad's going to play uh, some spiritual, you know, a spiritual song. So uh, today he chose uh, Amazing Grace. So uh, feel free to sing along uh, as you uh, enter your prayer requests. And, uh, Dad, the, the floor is yours. <laughs> Okay, if they wrote it, I want to I want to read it. Okay, so prayers for our cor uh, coronavirus to end for the medical people caring for all with the virus and first responders and delivery people from Jane and Ray Barres. Uh, Miss Janelle Fontenot, prayers for my daughter and two grandsons working in hospitals helping virus people. Uh, Miss Victoria McGowan, uh, prayers for all the folks who have lost a loved one to coronavirus so hard on them. Um, Miss Merlene wants to pray for all the postal workers. Uh, Mr. Randy Reed, uh, our, our, our resident Mamu and Mr. Randy, 
Yeah. Uh, he has a, a special prayer. His daughter's a senior. Uh, she played softball. So some prayers for our high school seniors. They're taking all of this hard, as they should, Mr. Rainey. That's, uh, that has to be tough for those kids and their parents. Um, uh, thank you, Miss Victoria, for the kind words. Uh, uh, Miss Carmen wants uh, prayers for God to heal our land. And uh, Miss Joycelyn, prayers for all of us to hang in there for a while. Um, Miss Nola wants uh, us, for us to all pray for her diabetic friend uh, who's an essential worker. And remember, the purpose of these prayer requests is that all of us are a family. So, so when we uh, pray tonight, we're going to be praying for all of our special requests. Um, Mr. Terry Dore wants us to pray for Father Buddy, um, who really misses saying Mass uh, right now. Um, He's a really a people, a yeah, people priest. Yeah, Miss uh, Brenda wants uh, to pray for our country. Uh, one nation under God, and uh, uh, Miss Brenda Thibodeau for her niece taking her 34th uh, Katrina treatment uh, as this is going on. Uh, Nanny Cheryl wants to pray for a granddaughter who's pregnant. Prayers for a healthy and safe pregnancy and a healthy baby. Absolutely, Miss Peggy LeBlanc wants prayers for uh, for the, for our president. Uh, Miss Cass, uh, Cassie, uh, my sister-in-law, pray for family that have lost their jobs. That's uh, that that's a, yes. an important one as well. Um, Miss Sissy Barres prayers for her son Tommy for one year death anniversary and all who miss him. So I think I must uh, have taught Tommy too. Tommy's going to be in our prayers familiar. absolutely. Uh, people losing their businesses. We want to pray that 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 things turn around or that they they can recover eventually. Uh, prayers of uh, Miss Deanna Suarez praying for medical cures against the virus that the people can take without bad reactions. Uh, please. Um, prayers for the tornado victims. We keep, you know, that that's another thing that's going on that doesn't get as much press. Uh, I got the time, Pop. No, no. Uh, no. Prayer for all small business owners, children whose only good days are at school. Um, yeah. We want to pray for good weather this weekend uh, so that it, it should be at bad. So we want to pray that the weather doesn't have an effect on, we, that's the last thing some people need. Um, Okay, guys. Uh, thank y'all for your prayer requests. So, Dad, we're gonna we're gonna say prayers tonight for all of our friends and all of their requests. And uh, oh, one more, uh, Luke Landry, prayers for those struggling with anxiety and stress. That's a, that's an important one as well. Okay, guys, y'all are gonna be in our prayers. We hope y'all are in our prayers and uh, and vice versa. So, uh, Dad, let's uh, end it on a positive note. And uh, you guys, y'all know uh, y'all are sunshine. So let's uh, let's all sing together.
dear, how much I love you. Please don't take the sunshine away. All right, guys, you have a good day. And the answer uh, to red or white, the answer is yes. Y'all have a good one. Bye.